You can see straight down the way. The only time we'll ever see Universal Studios Hollywood this empty. Yo, what's going on everybody and welcome back to SoCal Books of Warren, your number one stop for all things theme park related and attraction related. Today brings us to CityWalk Hollywood. It's been a while since I've been out here at Universal Studios. Um, and we don't get to go into the theme park today. However, we do get to go and enjoy CityWalk with limited operation. So I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit on what to expect if you're coming out to CityWalk and kind of like a glimpse of what the new normal is for the theme parks and the different attractions. We're gonna have some fun. I'm not wearing my mask right now, but I'm about to put it on. We're gonna go get our temperature scan and I'll show you guys all that good stuff. If you're new here, subscribe with those bell notifications on. Check us out on social media at SoCal Exploring Media on Instagram and at SoCal Exploring on Twitter. If you wanna purchase yourself a custom mask with one of our logos on it, visit tpublic.com slash user slash SoCal Exploring or click the link down in the description. But let's go have some fun here at City Walk Hollywood. Now, one of the things that you'll notice while being in the parking garage is these cones of locking off some of the parking spots, and that's to help with social distancing. So when the theme parks finally open back up, the families getting out of these different cars won't be so close together to where they're actually six feet within each other, but they can stay six feet apart from each other. Over here by the restrooms, you can see they have directional signs telling you which way to walk. And these are scattered all over the place. I'll show them all today. Here's just a prime example of what they look like before we go out into the sun. You can see that the fountains are temporarily closed because obviously this is not six feet apart at all, but they took off the buttons right there and I'm sure they have the water off as well. So water fountains, drinking fountains are not open right now. Now we got our temperature screen or we got our temperature checked. Um, I passed, you know, that's normal. Uh, it, it is kind of weird having someone kind of hold like something in the shape of a gun to my forehead kind of odd but it's a, it's a new normal you know we got to expect it and uh that's something that we just got to get used to for at least for the next couple months or so um when they do these phase reopenings and as long as covid is still around but let's go have some fun at city walk right now we're going to check out some construction for the two stones chocolate emporium replacing hard rock cafe so right here is going to be where two stones chocolate emporium is going to be located at and there's not a lot that we can see different from the last time we were here, like a couple months ago to check out the construction out here. But this is the former Hard Rock Cafe location. They do have themed walls up now, which we'll go down there and uh, check it out. But this is where it's gonna be at. And also one thing that I mentioned when they announced this is it's a pretty small location for two stones, which is, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll be wrong, but uh, the one in Orlando is pretty huge. I'm gonna be so excited when we see that giant facade right there though. It is gonna look absolutely stunning, even, even more stunning at night. And just like with the seating areas, they have these physical distancing signs all over the tables. As you can see, they're all six feet apart to help out with physical distancing slash social distancing. Right now they're showing the little video, the skyline video that we talked about in our before you, or no before you go on the big city walk board. Here's a look at those signs advising guests to practice physical distancing. So you can see it's telling guests to stay six feet away. And then other instructions down here, including washing your hands often with soap and water, face covering required, and avoiding contact with people who are sick. Hashtag safety is universal. All these distancing markers are all located outside of every single venue for when a line actually forms. I'll show the ones over at Voodoo Donut right now, but the ones over at Voodoo Donut, there's a lot, obviously, because Voodoo Donut is one of the most popular locations here at City Walk Hollywood. So here are those social distancing markers for Voodoo Donut. So there's one little queue line right there. And then there's more markers right here. Not only right here, they stretch all the way to where that purple like butterfly photo op is, or fairy photo op, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, they definitely have tons of them for Voodoo Donut. And of course they have hand sanitizer locations located all throughout City Walk. Small little hand sanitizer locations right there. How you doing big fella? You been hanging in there? Haven't seen very many guests in the recent couple months. Right next to it is the brand new It's Sugar Facade. 
still not open. It was supposed to open in spring of 2020, which is this year. But as we all know, it happened in spring. So it's getting pushed back. We don't know when it's going to open, but it looks like it's near completion very soon. Got some progress going on here for the location of NBC Sports Grill and Brew opening this year. Got a new monitor up there. Pretty big too. Want to have big games out here? To put them on out there? This is definitely going to draw attraction to a lot of guests here in City Walk. It's going to look pretty when it opens though. For sure going to look pretty when it opens. Oh yes, a ride that we don't know when we'll ever be able to ride. Secret Life Events off the leash out here taking over the Universal Studio Store here in City Walk. You know, soon we'll be able to ride it. And I know all of you guys want to ride it as much as I do. But the studio store is currently not open right now. However, they do have signs in there to put out here and when they do open up. And I'm sure that they have masks loaded in there to sell as well as hand sanitizer. Ah, yes, an empty Universal Studios Hollywood. Oh, man. Oh man, do I miss you. I miss going through those gates. Let's take a closer look up, up close. You can see straight down the way. The only time we'll ever see Universal Studios Hollywood this empty. Oh man, I wish I could just walk through these gates right now. I miss you so much, Universal. You have a special place in my heart. I know, I know, to the right over there, that there's an HHN maze being constructed. We just can't see it. Darn. Actually, maybe if we go over to the side. Let's go check if we can see some type of construction. I doubt it, but we'll go, we'll go see right now. Oh, you guys lucked out right here. I can see a glimpse of Halloween Horror Nights construction. Now, I can't zoom on this lens, but I'm going to switch my phone right now to zoom. You can't see a lot, but you can definitely see it. We're going to zoom in a little bit. There it is right there, guys. Flip you guys up a little bit. There's Hornets construction though. You can see the walls are up, so it's definitely for an HH enemies. I don't know if that black thing is a facade or not. But wow, that is exciting stuff nonetheless. Came over here for a further point of view to see if we can see anything more. And yeah, we can see the walls right there. Lift you guys up some more, just so you guys can see that they are walls for HH Gen. Now, I know that they're getting set for the theme park opening, which we don't know uh, when that date is yet, unless they announce it the day that you're watching this. But you can see in the ticket queues, uh, they have social distancing markers already set up all over the place. So that's a good sign that they're already preparing for it. They don't have them all set up yet, but they're definitely setting them up. So it's exciting to see. Like all over here, you know, they don't have any. But then over here, they have a bunch, and they have a bunch on the other side as well over there. There it is right over there. Secret Life of Pets off the leash. Man, come on, we're so close. We are so close to riding it. You can also see Super Silly Funland back there behind Secret Life of Pets. Just hiding and creeping. I will say one thing, it's a perfect photo opportunity though. I'll put one of the pictures I took up there right now. And another one. Since there's nobody out here, you can just take as many pictures as you like. There's the globe right there, the beautiful globe. And all of its glory. It is nice to be in this general area though, even though we can't actually go into the gates. It's nice to be in this area. All right, so now to talk about what I think about having to wear a mask this whole time. So we've been here for about an hour and 15 minutes. Um, but Savannah, she wears makeup, you know, as all girls do. So it's a little bit uh, more difficult for her uh, as far as the heat goes. But for me, like, it really has no effect on me at all. Like, yeah, I can see how it gets a little bit sweaty for those who like sweat a lot. But honestly, like at this point walking around for a while, it just it feels like it's not there anymore. Um, it just kind of feels like it's something that like we've been doing for forever. So, yeah, I mean, if you're coming up to the theme parks, 
You're gonna have to wear a mask either way. Oh, that's a bad lighting. Let me step back a little bit. You're gonna have to wear a mask either way. So just, you're gonna have to accept it or you're just not gonna be able to come out to the theme park. I would, I would say get a very light mask though uh, when you come out to the theme parks. And that does it for our city walk visit. It was a fun time. Um, their procedures are doing really good. I think that Universal is going to run smoothly when they eventually open up. But uh, this is kind of just a trial and error right now. There's obviously a couple things they need to work on. And it was, it was just cool to be back out at the park. Um, big thank you to the couple people that came up to me and said hi. It's going to be fun though. It's going to be interesting to see what happens when they open up Universal Studios in Hollywood. Now we're at Knott's Berry Farm, which will be in a video in a couple of days. And we're going to check out the marketplace and not scare from construction as well. But if you're new here, subscribe with this bell notifications on all of the social media, all that stuff linked down in the description. My name is Scott, you've been watching Silicon Exploring, all the TV key, and most importantly, from the TV Exploring. Peace out everybody.